Every community across Sweden appoints its own Lucia. In the capital Stockholm, she arrives in a festively decorated coach. Amanda Karlshamra and her six fellow singers, or maidens, were chosen from 200 candidates. It's an honor, it's really an honor to, I mean, to lead these girls, uh, these maidens that I have, it's, it's amazing. We are such a great group. Um, and we've been fighting for this and we've been gathering money um, for the same cause and I'm, I'm just proud. It takes more than a pretty face to win the title of Lucia. You need to be able to sing, and you need to be. You need to have a good will of taking a, a social responsibility. You know, we need to have a will to change something and to to do something good. Uh, social responsibility, that's the most important thing. Amanda Karlshamra has been living in Stockholm for about a year, and she's studying social sciences. She served as the official Lucia once before in her hometown of Skara. Lucia for me is one of the most beautiful traditions um, because it's, uh, it's a symbolic of, of coming with hope and light in a time of darkness, uh, especially here in Sweden where it's so cold and dark like half, half a year. The celebration dates from the Middle Ages, the robes the girls wear from 1760. This, this white dress that I'm wearing at this moment, it symbolizes the purity and the innocence uh, of Santa Lucia, who was a saint who died for her, for her belief. And this red ribbon that we have around our, our waist, she was a marcher, so this is actually blood. Amanda was officially named Sweden's Lucia on December 1st. Since then, she and her six maidens have been preparing for the festival at the Skansen Open Air Museum in Stockholm. The Lucia tradition had almost died out when it was revived by the museum's founder, Arto Hazelius, over a century ago. Skansen was open in 1891. This man who opened Skansen, he saw that this was a tradition. He saw that from the western part of Sweden in the 18th century. And he said, this is so interesting. This lady who comes with a white gown, with a light in her hair, uh, offering something in the morning, you know. He said, we should do this at Skansen as well. So he lifted this uh, tradition in Sweden. And after him, this became a big um, tradition all over Sweden. The earliest surviving photo of a Lucia was taken in 1899. In Stockholm, Lucia is celebrated mainly at the Skansen Museum. The Seglora Church, built entirely from timber, is jam-packed. Amanda Karlshamra and her maidens have had a busy two weeks leading up to St. Lucia Day, running from one official engagement to another, from office Christmas parties to events at social facilities. A Lucia is supposed to wear burning candles on her head. Donning a crown of live flames is a challenge. I think it's important, of, of course, due to security and safety reasons, it's not possible everywhere, but I think that if possible, it should be real candles everywhere. Lucia is not an official holiday in Sweden, but it's definitely one of the most popular ones.